This UCSD TV program is a presentation of University of California Television for educational and non commercial use only. This is a podcast of Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego. To learn more about how you can support Scripps, visit us online at scripps.ucsd.edu. Throughout Earth's history, the planet's magnetic field has waxed and waned, and at its weakest moments, has reversed in polarity. The magnetic field has been steadily weakening since scientists began tracking it, which has led some scientists to suggest we are on course toward the next reversal. Researchers at Scripps Institution of Oceanography are studying geomagnetic clues frozen in time in an effort to document the changes in the magnetic field over the last several million years and to better understand what makes it move. Is the field reversing? It's a big question, big argument. The observation, the reason that that question comes up is that ever since people have been measuring the strength of the field, it's been going down. And if you measure it over the last 20 years, it's been dropping very quickly. If you project forward, it will be zero in about 500 years. Now, the other observation is that whenever the field, um, whenever the field is reversing, it is low. Lisa Tokes, professor of geophysics and director of the Scripps Paleomagnetic Laboratory, trekked across Israel and Jordan in search of magnetic records left behind by early copper mining operations. What happens when you make copper, when you uh, smelt this ore for copper, is that you have the, the leftover stuff, which they just poured out on the ground or, or cooled in the furnace and then dumped out on the ground. This is a, a quenched material which we thought might be ideal for our purposes of recording the magnetic field. So what we were after was the copper mining slag because for two reasons. One is that it has embedded charcoal in it, so it can be actually directly dated with charcoal that, that was cut and and used for the purpose of heating that particular rock, so it's the most direct dating you can get. Also, we thought that some of this material may have ideal properties for recording the magnetic field because it's a very special material that you need. Besides trying to estimate the strength and direction of the magnetic field over the last million years, field studies can help researchers understand why it shifts. The Earth's core has a solid inner part and then about half the earth, half the radius of the earth is molten iron. The motions of the molten iron in the, in the core create currents which create magnetic fields and that's what drives the magnetic field is um, this churning in the center of the earth. Kathy Constable is head of the earth science section and professor of geophysics at Scripps. Her work suggests the present day field is still above average compared to the last several million years. The current state of the magnetic field is healthy. It has um, what we call normal polarity, and what we mean is that its, uh, strength is, its strength is slightly above average for the very, very long geological average. And when we say that it has stable polarity, we mean that it looks like um, what you would expect, or approximately like what you would expect for the field that you'd find for a, a dipole bar magnet sitting at the center of the Earth. As scientists continue to piece together the magnetic field's elusive origins and speculate its future direction, will scientists ever be able to predict a future reversal? So it would have to decrease by a lot more than it has over the past couple of centuries while we've been measuring the magnetic field strengths to, to get to a state where it's reversing. Um, and if we look back over the past 7,000 years, we see that actually the magnetic field has, uh, the field strength has gone up and down over the past few thousand years, so that uh, it's quite possible that it could drop to maybe as little as half its current value and then still recover from that. And we're nowhere near any kind of low field. We're at a rather high field, so to me, the chances are that we're just on another one of these roller coasters. Um, there's some chance that we'll, the field will be reversing, but there's no way to predict when.
This has been a presentation of Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego.